In 1882, amidst the rugged terrain of Kingman, Arizona, a tale of unspeakable horror unfolded. A tale that continues to resonate through the winds of time, haunting the desolate expanse known as Slaughterhouse Canyon. During the gold rush of the 1800s, gold fever gripped the hearts of many, leading them to the treacherous mountains in pursuit of unimaginable wealth. Among these hopeful prospectors was a miner, a man driven by dreams of prosperity and the responsibility to provide for his family. His wife, Luana, and their innocent children, their eyes filled with dreams of their own, eagerly awaited his return. But fate, as it often does, had far bleaker plans in store. Days turned into agonizing weeks, and as the miners' absence stretched on, hope dwindled like a candle in the wind. The meager supplies they had hoarded ran out, leaving Luana and the children in the grip of starvation. Desperation clawed at their hearts, and the haunting cries of her starving children reverberated through the canyon, a relentless reminder of their dire circumstances. The weight of despair bore down upon Luana, shattering her sanity like glass struck by a stone in the night. Driven to the brink of madness, Luana, dressed in her wedding gown, succumbed to the darkness within her. Under the shroud of a moonless night, amid a cacophony of thunder and lightning, she committed an unspeakable act to spare her children from further suffering. The walls of their modest shack were splattered with blood, earning it the macabre moniker, the Slaughterhouse. Consumed by guilt and madness, she carried the remains of her beloved children to the nearby river her mind drowning in a sea of anguish and horror. She wailed and screamed until her voice was but a hoarse whisper, eventually succumbing to starvation herself. Today, Slaughterhouse Canyon stands as a grim testament to this horrifying tragedy. A mere 12 minute drive from Kingman, this forsaken place is said to be cursed. On silent nights, beneath the watchful gaze of the full moon, those daring enough to venture into its eerie depths after midnight are rumored to witness the spectral reenactment of Luana's descent into madness. In the suffocating darkness, the anguished cries of a desperate mother and the bloody echoes of her slaughtered children pierce the silence, weaving a tapestry of sorrow that lingers in the desert air. Slaughterhouse Canyon stands as a haunting reminder of the depths of human despair, where the boundary between the living and the dead blurs, and the spirits of the lost continue to wander, their mournful wails echoing through the desolate sands. Nestled in Indiana, lies the infamous 100 Steps Cemetery, a place where urban legend and paranormal intrigue collide. Amidst the whispers of the wind and the rustle of ancient leaves, a chilling tale unfolds, drawing the curious into its enigmatic depths. Legend has it that within this cemetery stands a sinister flight of stairs, exactly 100 steps that ascend to an open field. These steps, once grand and imposing, now lay cracked, weathered and decaying, casting an eerie pallor over the surroundings. It is said that the veil between our world and the supernatural thins at the stroke of midnight, beckoning the brave to venture forth. As the clock strikes 12, the courageous souls who tread these crumbling steps must count each one. With each ascending step, the air grows colder and the atmosphere thickens with an otherworldly presence. At the pinnacle, where the steps meet the open field, the veil between the living and the dead is said to waver, revealing an apparition, 
the first undertaker. This ghostly figure, with hollow eyes that pierce the darkness, materializes before the weary traveler. Without uttering a single word, the undertaker unveils a vision. A vision of the visitor's own demise, played out in haunting detail. The air grows heavy with foreboding, and the darkness seems to pulse with malevolence. After the ghastly revelation, the undertaker vanishes, leaving the visitor alone on the desolate steps. But the true test of fate awaits the daring soul on their descent. Counting the steps again, if the count matches the number from their ascent, they are deemed safe, the vision dismissed as a false premonition. However, should the count differ, even by a single step, the fate foretold by the undertaker becomes an inescapable reality, sealing their doom within the cemetery's cursed grounds. Yet, there are darker facets to this tale. Some versions of the legend speak of attempts to deceive this undertaker. Those who dare to walk on the grass beside the stone steps, hoping to evade the entity's gaze, face a wrathful force. An invisible hand, cold and unyielding, shoves them violently to the ground. In its wake, a large, blood-red handprint emerges on their body, a mark believed to be the devil's own, signifying their encounter with the supernatural forces that guard the cemetery. The origins of the spine-chilling legend remain obscured in the mists of time, lost to the annals of history. Yet, the 100-step cemetery continues to beckon, its spectral allure drawing visitors and paranormal enthusiasts into the abyss of the unknown. The rugged and beautiful Berkshire Hills of Western Massachusetts is the home of the infamous Hoosick Tunnel. For centuries, ghostly legends have plagued this cursed construction, casting a chilling shadow over the land. The Hoosick Tunnel, a dark abyss carved into the unforgiving Hoosick Mountain, witnessed a gruesome saga of blood, sweat, and tears. Hundreds of miners toiled tirelessly, but the tunnel demanded a terrible price. Explosions, fires, and drownings, the tunnel earned its grim nickname, the Bloody Pit, claiming the lives of over 200 men who dared to challenge its depths. But amidst the tragedies, a sinister mystery unfolded. In 1865, explosive experts planted a charge of nitroglycerin, leading to a catastrophic accident. Two souls, Ned Brinkman and Billy Nash, were buried alive, their voices silenced forever. And then there was Ringo Kelly, the sole survivor, who vanished without a trace, only to be found strangled to death a year later deep within the tunnel's abyssal darkness. Some believe the vengeful spirits of Brinkman and Nash still roam these haunted corridors, their anguished cries echoing through the darkness, terrifying any soul who dares to enter. Those who venture inside are met with the overwhelming feeling of being watched by unseen eyes, their every step haunted by the tragedies of the past. The tunnel became a breeding ground for sinister forces. Miners reported hearing agonizing moans and witnessing ghostly figures floating in the mist. Even the bravest among them fell victim to the tunnel's spectral inhabitants, recounting encounters that would haunt their nightmares, leaving them sleepless and tormented by the supernatural. The legend of the Hoosick Tunnel lives on, a tale woven with lost souls vengeful spirits, and inexplicable horrors. Those who venture into its depths tread upon a path haunted by the restless, where shadows dance and echoes of the past reverberate.
In the heart of Georgia lies a reservoir that hides a haunting secret beneath its depths. Lake Lanier, a seemingly tranquil body of water, conceals the remnants of towns, ferries, and even cemeteries, all submerged when the Georgia government, backed by congressional approval in 1946, decided to create the lake. Entire communities were brought up and left to be swallowed by the rising waters. Rather than demolishing the towns, they were allowed to be submerged, creating an underwater ghost town beneath the lake's surface. The result is a lake with an eerie atmosphere where the past lingers beneath the ripples. But Lake Lanier's supernatural reputation goes beyond its submerged history. There's a darker side to this picturesque lake, a series of strange and tragic events. An unusually high number of freak accidents and deaths have occurred here. In 2011 alone, 17 lives were claimed by the lake's depths. While many bodies have been recovered, some have vanished without a trace. Locals and visitors alike have reported unsettling experiences. Sensations of phantom arms and legs brushing against them in the water. Some claim to have felt a spectral presence, a touch from beyond the grave, yet find nothing when they turn to look. These chilling encounters have led many to believe that the spirits of those who perished in the lake's depths still roam, their restless souls haunting the waters of Lake Lanier. Paranormal enthusiasts and investigators have been drawn to the mysteries of Lake Lanier, hoping to uncover the truth behind these ghostly encounters and the eerie incidents that have plagued the lake for decades. As night falls and the mist rises, Lake Lanier's enigmatic aura grows stronger, reminding us that beneath its calm surface lies a world of forgotten history and restless spirits, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to dive into the unknown. In the city of Philadelphia, there's a legend that tells of a peculiar bus, a vehicle that appears only to those who have hit rock bottom. They call it the Bus to Nowhere, a mysterious entity that defies logic and explanation. In the sprawling network of the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transit Authority, where hundreds of buses drive the city streets, there's one that doesn't adhere to any schedule or route. No LCD display graces its front, no route number designates its path. It's known as Zero or the Wandering Bus and it's an enigma that haunts the night. This bus, they say, only appears to the despondent souls, those drowning in despair, their lives at a dead end. Its drivers remain concealed, their identity hidden beneath the tattered blue hat, its brim casting a shadow over their sunken eyes. To board, you must chase after it, your footsteps echoing in the empty streets like a requiem for lost hopes. Once inside, an eerie silence descends, broken only by the faint hum of the engine and the occasional creak of worn-out seats. An automated voice, distorted and ghostly, announced the intersection where you were picked up, but there's no mention of destinations. The bus ride, it's said, is a journey into the deepest recesses of your soul, a confrontation with your inner demons that lurk in the corners of your mind. For some, this limbo lasts only minutes. For others, it stretches into days, weeks, even months. Every choice, every regret is dissected, examined under the unforgiving spotlight of self-reflection leaving you in a state of profound contemplation. And when you finally emerge, you're enlightened, triumphant over past traumas, your spirit reborn from the ashes of your darkest fears. But this enlightenment comes at a cost. 
The realization that change requires effort, that redemption demands sacrifice. The moment of awakening arrives, and you pull the cord, the metallic sound echoing through the empty bus like a distant tolling bell. Stepping out onto the very same block where you boarded, the world seems different, as if you're viewing it through new eyes. The bus, it seems, has served its purpose, guiding you through the labyrinth of your own psyche. But the mystery doesn't end here. Whispers in the night speak of similar buses sighted in other cities across the northeastern United States, each with its own cryptic tales of redemption and self-discovery. Is it a figment of imagination or a shared delusion? A collective yearning for meaning in a world often devoid of it? Perhaps it's a ghost story woven into the tapestry of our lives, a spectral reminder that even in the depths of despair, there exists a glimmer of hope, a chance for transformation. If ever you find yourself enveloped in unrelenting despair, take a stroll through the city at night. Who knows? The mysterious bus might just pick you up, offering you a chance to confront your demons, to delve into the labyrinth of your soul and find a way forward, guided by the enigmatic journey on the bus to nowhere. We hope you've enjoyed this spine-tingling journey into the heart of American folklore. Before we bid you farewell, we want to express our gratitude for joining us on this eerie expedition. If you found these stories as captivating and hair-raising as we did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all our future explorations into the unknown. If you have your own spooky tales to share, or if there are legends you'd like us to unravel in future videos, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the unknown.